Hello, Facebook friends. Brad Singleton coming to you live for your daily motivation and encouragement. This is episode 461 of 5 Minutes of Fire. The topic today is, why is the ATM machine moving? So, I uh, just went to my... <laughs> to the ATM to take care of some banking business. And I was listening to my music and I pulled up <laughs> next to the ATM and uh, I, I pulled a little too far forward and I was thinking, you know, I probably should back up. And then as soon as I had that thought, I looked down to get what I was needing to get. And then I look up and I'm not kidding. The ATM <laughs> machine was going that way. And I was like, why is the ATM machine moving? And then quickly I realized it's not moving. I'm moving. I'm going backwards, and, <laughs> and there's a car behind me. Woo! Watch out! And so I quickly recognized the error of my ways and uh, pulled back to the ATM. Why do I tell you that story? For this reason. I don't know if you are a Christian or not. I don't know if you're a theist or not, as in someone who believes in God. But there's moments like that where I believe that God and his grace spares me from my own stupidity. God has not spared me from every stupid thing that I've ever done in my life. Of course not. But he has definitely spared me from a whole lot of stupid. Here's an example. Had I been spacing off a little bit longer, I would have creamed the car behind me. Like, can you imagine local pastor in auto accident in the... <laughs> At the lane of the ATM. Like he just backed into somebody because he just wasn't paying attention. I, I believe God inspired me to look up and see the moving ATM machine in that moment. So I didn't cream the poor person behind me. I am, I am a firm believer that God has spared me from a whole lot of my own stupid choices and decisions. I'm just curious. Have you had the same experience? Has God spared you from a whole lot of stupid um, like I said, he doesn't spare us from it, all, from it all. I know he doesn't, but he definitely does. There's so many examples in my life. I'm like, whoo, God spared me there. Every time I talk to my teenage son and he tells me what's going on in his life, I'm like, oh, oh boy, God spared you there. That could have been a whole lot worse. <laughs> oh, man, that could have been a whole lot worse. So I just want you to consider that today, that God's grace is all that you need. I just experienced God's grace just a few minutes ago. God's grace is often in protecting us from the natural consequences of our own choices and decisions. I'm so grateful that God and his love and his mercy and his grace protects me from my own stupid ignorance, whatever. And I want to encourage you with that today. Regardless of what you're going through in life, it could it'll be a whole lot worse. And God and his grace has spared you from so much. I'm going to challenge you, would you take the time to be grateful for that today? Because gratitude is a powerful, powerful thing. And I just wanted to jump on here and tell you I'm grateful <laughs> that I did not cream the person behind me in the ATM line. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace today. I encourage you to think about that today. Well, guys, as always, thanks so much for liking and sharing this video. This has been 5 Minutes of Fire.